My shower curtain has known me longer than any of my lovers. It's kept my tears in the tub and blocked out the sun of unwelcome dawns. It's musty with the history of my mildewing melodramas. The watercolor ink splatters taking the shape of blue fish and red bobbers. It is my cloak, behind which I have played both coy and coward, been embraced and rejected. I've held onto it for dear life, backhanded battered it when it clung too tightly, slammed shut and ripped open its shrill metal accordion melody, the soundtrack of both my beginnings and endings. Oh, shower curtain. You were once the newest thing I owned, the most adult and the most expensive. $24.99 at Ikea. When I took you home that first night with matching towels and bath mat, I unwrapped you with the delicacy of a tissue paper Tiffany's box. You meant something. You meant I finally had a home safe enough to make monthly decisions in. You comforted my flu and whiskey stomach with your maternal familiarity. You were the only vinyl I could afford. You meant art and privacy, sanctuary and stability. You meant I am my mother's daughter, the kind of woman who decorates even the bathroom. Oh, shower curtain, you know all of my truths. You know me Midwest meltdown and California cocaine. Sometimes you're the only one who knows I cried that day. You see the clockwork of vitamins, the inconsistency of flossing, the toenails, the toothbrush, the earring behind the toilet. You are a mural of watercolor petals with nonsensical dribbles to the next contour. And I just realized today, brushing you off of my staticky arm, that you have never scoffed at my weight. Contrary. You try to hug my body in its most vulnerable form. You have protected me from fights. The way you harmonize with the temperature nozzles and the shrieking shower head to make an argument inaudible is pure magic. You are among my favorite things, especially when you dance on a mowed lawn breeze while I wash the green down the sink. You really know how to make a girl feel at home.